Hi friends, today we are going to talk about uh, dynamic parallel processing in dynamic parallel approval in workflow. Okay, how you can do that. So first I will create a workflow. Okay, and it should take less than five minutes. Okay, so PFTC, this is the workflow. I'll build, I'll click workflow, workflow template and I'll give a name and I'll click on create. Uh, workflow for parallel processing, processing, and I'll just get this name. I'll copy this, control C, I'll do control V. Okay, now I go to container. Okay, here I'll just give a business object. This would be related with invoices, so I'll just give invoice. And here I'm going to give object type BOR bus to zero eight one. Okay, uh, sorry. And here I'll go to properties, import, export, make it mandatory. And we press the green arrow. This is done. Now I'll build a container element which will be my determining factor of parallel processing. So suppose this would be users, so I'll just put a tools. Okay, and here I'll just put approvals here, here, and then I'll just put WF syst agent. Okay, and here I put import export, and I put multi line. This is my, this is important. Once we select multi line, and now we will just click save. Save local object that will need to transport and now I'll go to workflow builder so now the workflow builder will start and here you can see I'll just give a decision task very simple create and I'll put uh, suppose user decision okay and you say support display or suppose approve invoice okay I'm not going to approve anything. I'm just showing how we can build the, you know, we just build the dynamic processing. So let's put reject here, reject, and here, I'll just control Y. I'll just copy this to control C, and I do control. Now the most important option. I go here. I go to miscellaneous, and here you can see. There is how do you use multiple elements for parallel process? Here, what I'm going to do, do is I click here and I select a course. Okay, now here you can give a condition like both, uh, like two processes or something. You can give conditions. So, if I click on a condition here, you can give conditions that this many things are done, how many are there, and all those things at which point you want the parallel processing to get terminated so i'm not giving any condition okay but if you want you can give now what i'm going to do this is the most this is the part we have done now we are going to decisions and here we will just select expressions and here you will see approvers workflow for for each this is the most important thing you click on this you do this and you click click this and we activate so it's activating you see three percent it's now activated now we'll click execute and i'll show how to test it so now it's showing here okay so now i'll just give a business object i think i had one no i don't so let me go here i'll fetch one so let me go. I think I have one in my inbox. So let me get some test data out. So I go here, inbox. This is not part of the development, but I'm just, I want to make sure I build something and it's really working for you. Okay. So, so I go here now. I click here and I go to document and original document and I just copy this number. This is the number I want. 
that's not a problem i'll just put populate this to zero one nine and now what i'm going to do in the approvals it needs to be multiple okay and we have to concatenate with a us that's the objective okay so i'll just put three i'll get some user id okay so what i'm going to do is here i'll go to usr02 execute uh, so the just uh, yeah uh, control y i'll just copy three copy three control c and here i'll just paste control v now i'll need to just add us now you might say this you can get it from a back code you know of course, you need you will not hard code this, but I'm just showing just for the concept, you know. And here I have this now. Everything is ready. Now we'll just execute. Now here you can see it got triggered. I will not do anything. I'll just cancel and keep the work item. Cancel and keep the work item. Now if you see in the workflow log, it will show that three work items got generated for each. Okay, you see, so if we notice one is this, student one, so this way you can do dynamic parallel processing and this is very handy. Okay, so that's it. Stay tuned to my SAP channel and happy SAP learning and have a great day.